Can't go no more. Um, well, I can go, but I, I might not can get back. So it's just driving me up the wall that I can't get out and make my runs. I ain't had no coffee today. I didn't have no coffee yesterday because the coffee maker took a dump. Uh, it. It just it don't it won't do anything. So I can't scoot down to Publix and get a cup. So that's trying. I'm thinking about trying to hand make some. But anyway, suppose the guy's gonna be over here tomorrow, which is Monday or Tuesday or maybe even Wednesday gonna come out and check it out and he's bringing new batteries uh, the VA is putting a bill on it so I, I think I don't have to worry about that but that because that's a couple of hundred dollars to, well the batteries over a hundred dollars a piece and uh, so I decided to show you something I found and to be honest with you, I can't remember if I found this in the dumpster or on the curb. I'm thinking it was on the curb because when I picked it up, yeah, it was on the curb. And this is a, a Russian doll. It's out of made out of wood. It's hand painted. And I mean, very delicate intricate designs and stuff that it's just painted on there I'm guessing it's enamel I don't know but and I watched a, I watched a video on this them these things being made and uh, there's eight more dolls like this inside this when I first picked it up I just thought it was just a piece of wood or like a gourd or something and then it rattled you hear that rattling and I'm like hmm and then I recalled uh, seeing one of these one time before but this this biggest the biggest one is a little bit difficult to take apart and uh, and I'll put it back together. Well, I won't pass that and push that one all the way apart. And then you got another one in there. <laughs> it and and they, this is turned out of a piece of solid wood, and there's a name for it. You can actually see where it was on the lathe. And uh, when they are turning this thing, uh, they're cutting the inside out. And you can see it's not plywood or anything like that. It's, it's all solid wood. And the bottom's not painted. But, I mean, my goodness, how much work goes in that? Oh, uh, just unreal how these things and I mean they're going I think there's eight pieces on this eight dolls I don't put that back there I'm hoping you can see that I don't know. I may have to start using my camcorder 
to do these videos when I'm sitting here doing this. And even this little bitty one here, see, it's rattling. It's got another one in it. And just when you think you've seen them all, guess what? <laughs> There's another one in there. And that's the little one. I'm surprised I didn't try to do another one and uh, do that, but I'm not sure. I may do a giveaway on this. I don't know. Um, depends on whether my daughter wants it or not. I think she might have mentioned it one time. I don't know. But I got to pour me something to drink. You know, I see all these people up north complaining about the hot weather, and it hadn't been that long ago. I don't, that some of them were saying, I don't see how you stand all that hot weather down there. Well, we got warm weather, but it's not hot. I mean, now you get out in the sun and you let that sun beat down on you. It's, 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 it's warm. But, I'm, these guys are talking about 90 something, 97 and all that crap. Woo! I sent them an email, I said, y'all having hotter weather than I'm having here in Central Florida. By the way, something I don't, I don't know if you notice the difference in my my uh, appearance or not, because I'm actually doing something here that I haven't done probably in seven or eight months. <laughs> and guess what it is, and I'll just smile and show you. I got my teeth in. Uh, I don't wear them. I don't wear them. I don't have to. Wear, I don't need them, you know, unless I'm going to be vain and worry about walking around looking toothless or something, you know. But but I ain't worried about that. And my teeth. The reason I quit wearing them regular is because. One time when I was cleaning them, I dropped, was it the upper shoe? Yes, up. Uh, it might be the bottom shoe. Yeah, I think I cracked both of them right on the very back. It chipped off a little piece on the bottoms, a little piece on the top, and it's right on the corner of the edge where it fits around my gums, and it's sharp, and you can kind of feel it. I, I don't feed it like as much as I used to. But if I got to eat, camera just shut off. That's all of a sudden on its own. Just beeped a couple of times and beeped itself off while I was still talking. And now I done forgot. Well, I was talking about my teeth. Anyway, my teeth are in. And um, they're not bothering me. I might start leaving them in if they're not bothering me, but uh, I was showing you my dolls and stuff and pouring me some drink. And I was talking about the hot weather, you know, and which we're not really having that warm of weather. Now my daughter went to, uh, let's see, she's coming home from work on She worked Thursday night. I'm not sure about days, but she was working. She didn't come home the next morning. My grandson took her to the hospital and they put her in the hospital. She had real high blood sugar and uh, they only kept her a day and a half, but they, she's, they said she's definitely diabetic and she's gonna have to go on uh, 
she's going to have to go on insulin, they think, they say, I don't know. But anyway, she's back home, but she won't go back to work till uh, mm, Wednesday night. So she's missing, she's missing some days. She's not a salaried employee, she's, she's hourly. She could have been salaried. She could have had a manager's job. But she turned it down. And I guess she's been over there now. She's at Walmart. I guess she's been over there four or five years now. My grandson's been over there two years. The one that's going to college and everything. And, uh, he, he is kind of a perfect employee, you know. He does his job. He does what he's supposed to. He doesn't goof off. And they have made him are attempting to make him a customer service manager and which gives him a good bump in pay and actually well his mother's been, <laughs> I was telling his mama the other day I said you know you've been there all this time and Joey comes in for a couple of years and he's already passed you up but she could have had a manager's job if she'd pursued it, but she didn't want it. But they haven't, he's acting manager, they haven't actually promoted him because they have a problem with him not being at least 21. He's 20 now. Or he's 19 going on 20. He's 19, he's almost 20. And, uh, but he, he's excellent employee type person, you know. Got, uh, all the times I was in in business, it was very hard to find somebody that, that would stick with you, that did their job and didn't give you no runarounds and no goofing off. Very hard to find. And all the years I was in business, I only found, is that a ladybug or is that a... No, it's one of them jumping spiders. Get out of there. You ain't jumping on me and stuff. Now you done got yourself killed. So that's what you get for coming around me. Anyway. She's okay. Uh, I got to get serious about my channel uh, oh I got a real big surprise the other day there's a channel called Tucker Upper I really liked the guy I didn't like him at first because he had just he had and still has a real a real foul language you want to call it or potty mouth whatever I mean I, every once in a while I slip up and cuss but I'm trying to stop I, well I've come a long way in stopping my cussing and if I catch it I'll edit it out too but uh, his channel name is Tucker Upper T-U-C-K-E-R U-P-P-E-R and I, I didn't like him at first because I thought he was just a little wise cracking guy and cussing and all that stuff and just wasn't my type of person. But on one of his videos, he started talking, and I cannot remember, I can't quote what he was talking about, and I don't even know what to call this, but he comes up with this stuff talking about things in life in general and things you have to do and things you shouldn't do and it's very very wise you know he's he talks like a he's saying things that usually people are a lot older before they start thinking like that but he does that and he's got this girlfriend named Sammy 
and he does he, he scraps he does trash clean outs for real estate companies for houses that need to be stuff took out and cleaned up and all that stuff he mows grass uh, he does stunts and stuff that goes on TV. A lot of them's been on YouTube. And, uh, but I like him because of that. I don't like his cussing, but you know what? That's him. That's not me. That's just like Scrapping Pallet Man watches him. And you don't hear no cussing on Scrapping Pallet Man's uh, channel. But, and some people question Scrap and Pallet Man about that. And I think he made a comment or two about it. But that, he just sounds so wise. And I've commented and I said, your mom and daddy had to raise you right for you to come up and say some of these things you're saying. Uh, but the cussing, he does it. And I can see where it comes from, because his daddy and his daddy's the same. Well, I've not heard his mama be a powder potty mouth, but his daddy is. But uh, I like to watch the channel. You know, I don't like the cussing, but but anyway, Tucker Upper, he's got like forty three thousand subscribers or something, and he's picked most of them up in the past year. He had another channel before that. I don't know what the deal was on that. But uh, he gave, matter of fact, when Paul on Scrapping Pallet Man only had, I think he said 40 subscribers or something, and Tucker Upper gave him a shout out. And Paul told me, he said, that's when his channel took off. And Paul's got 41,000 subscribers now. Not saying it all come from Tucker Upper, and Paul doesn't ask people to subscribe or please subscribe or any of that stuff, which I don't know what he sees wrong with that. Uh, but a lot of people will watch the channel and they'll forget to subscribe or they'll forget to like and stuff like that. But he got Paul started, but the other day, Every time you get a new subscriber, a little thing pops up down in the bottom of your screen saying a new subscriber. And lo and behold, Tucker Upper subscribed to my channel. Now, I'm subscribed to his. And he left me a message and he said, for the dream, my friend, or something like that. He's got a saying, for the dream and what's your claim? And uh, he said, for the dream, uh, I don't suppose he gave me a shout out. Maybe he will in the future. I don't know. I kind of wish he would, cause he's got he's you know 40, 40 something thousand subscribers. You bound to get a little bit of action off of that. But yeah, he subscribed to me. And um, you know what? This sun is looking good. I may just. Nah, I'm scared to death to go over to Publix on that scooter now. I, ca I can't use the... We got two v two cars. Right now there's something... Our newer car, the one that broke down with me the other day, it's doing it again, and I'm not, I'm not taking that car anywhere. And uh, the other car... It's a Dodge, too. Uh, it's, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I just, I just don't want to be driving, because you, you need one vehicle here all the time in case something happens. So if I take off the public or something in it, and they need it, there they are. But... Mechanic's supposed to be able, coming over next week sometime to see if they can figure out what's wrong with that. that uh, I don't know what kind of Dodge it is. Is it a, the, the older one, the smaller one's a Neon. Uh, the big one is a Dodge 
shoot. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm kind of strange. I'm planning on going to the junkyard, uh, scrapyard. I'm going to try to go on Wednesday. And I found out that if I go in with this copper cable like this, they're only going to give me about 50 cents a pound on it. If I strip it down and it's got this silver coating looking stuff on it, they're going to call it number two. So number two, from 50 something cents a pound to almost two dollars a pound, it's worth me stripping. The only thing I hate about this, this is some, this is some tough insulation on that thing. And uh, I'm thinking I can mount that big vice I got picked up the other day and, and out in the, on the trash run and mount it to this table. I can bolt it in that table or in that vise like that and then where it's steady and then I can get, it'd be a lot easier to split than me holding it and trying to split it with the razor knife but it's it's some tough it's that one insulation is rubber I don't know what this other stuff is but it's something and it's, it's fabric and something coated on it but it's tough but I, I, I can't I can't sacrifice just going as insulated copper instead of going number two. But if that silver stuff wasn't on that, it would be bare bright. So I don't know. Anyhow. And I'm taking it TMR, and I'm going to tell that guy right off the bat, if you try to screw me on this, I, it ain't for sale to you. And if he says, well, I can't give you a price. If he can't tell me what it's going to pay me a pound strip like that, then so sorry you... Well, I don't call him that. I don't like that guy don't like him at all he's the one who got me on that brass that time I mean he got me good paid me paid me um, uh, paid me five cents a pound for that brass and all it had in there in there that wasn't brass was in them, them three little uh, ball burns with a spring he got me good anyhow I need to get this video done I need to get my little dolls back it put together this is pretty neat I just I seen them making this stuff. Uh, seen them making it, and it was and it was women. Well, there was some men in there too, but mostly women, especially especially doing the painting, all this hand painting. I wonder what a set of this actually costs. I think I'll Google that and see. kind of wood that is I don't know it looks like they go in there and sand it some kind of way when they're tell you the truth I don't <laughs> I mean, this is cute and all that stuff. But as far as functional, it's just decorative. That's all I can say.
anyway. I'm gonna put this one back together because this is what I'll be looking at. Okie dokie. Alright. There we That's pretty close. There it is, folks. There it is. All hand painted. Boy, they must. I'm going to check. I'm going to Google that and see what they cost the set. Oh. Uh, I keep biting down on my. I'm, <laughs> I'm used to my mouth going closer shut without them teeth when it's just the gum. Matter of fact, I won't do it because it's ugly. <laughs> it, it ain't pretty. <laughs> it ain't pretty. It's uh first once 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 I had all my teeth pulled and I didn't have them pulled because they were uh bad I had them pulled because I was always having to spend a lot of money to keep them good. And I got tired of it. I got tired of it. And I asked him how much would it cost for a set of dentures if I needed them. And he told me, and I forget what it was, or she told me, the dentist, she was a lady. Or, the dentist was a lady, and uh, I said, and how much to yank all my teeth out and get me a set of dentures? <clears throat> she couldn't believe I wanted my teeth pulled. I said, well, I'm tired of fix having them fixed. And uh, see, I had a, I had a cross, something they call a crossbite. And if you look for it, you'd really notice it. But my jaw is not straight. It's, it's, it's that's my natural way my jaw is. And I can do this and get it over here where it's supposed to be, and it's not so crooked that I got the crossbite. Therefore, as my permanent teeth was coming in when I was a child, the natural wire you know how when you first permanent teeth come in especially on the front they got little pointy things all the way across the bottoms you know and as as you grow those teeth working against each other the way they're supposed to it grinds them down to where uh to where they're not got those little ridges on them and they're not as sharp. And every time I'd go to Dennis, he'd wind up, he'd be in my mouth working on something, and them front teeth would cut him because they were so sharp. And he he actually ground them little ridges down so they wasn't so sharp and looked more natural in. This is when I was in the Army. But the dentures thing can come... I didn't do that till maybe 2000. But she said, you mean you want your teeth pulled? I said, yeah. And I'm thinking, well, the reason she don't want to do it is she ain't going to be making as much money because I won't have to keep coming back and getting them work done. And she wouldn't pull them. So I found a dentist that would. And I went there, and I had to go three different times to get them all yanked out. And uh, then I went back to my lady dentist, and she made me a set of dentures. She kept them, I think you're making a mistake. But no. 
that that solved it, man. That that solved the problem. I didn't I didn't ever have to worry about going to the dentist again. I don't have to worry about it now because the VA will do anything. They're gonna fix these little things on my dentist's worst chip, or they make me a new set. I don't know. But uh, that's the story of what happened to my teeth. And I had, according to most people that saw me or know knew me, thought I had very nice teeth. Uh, <laughs> they were just teeth. I missed certain things, that got, but what I was going to tell you, when all my teeth was pulled, uh, the kids was trying to see how far close they could get to touching their nose with their tongue. And I didn't have any teeth at, at that exact time. And I tried touching my nose with my tongue, and I did. I can't do it now, because my teeth thin. But, <laughs> lo and behold, I can actually, with my dentures out, I can actually touch my nose with my bottom lip. Or my tongue. But I, I put that bottom lip right up there on the bottom of my nose. <laughs> and it, <laughs> it, it ain't pretty. <laughs> and you can make some god awful faces without your dentures in. Oh, Lord, you can make some terrible faces. But one thing I don't like about not having my teeth, I cannot whistle. And I used to be a big whistler. I cannot whistle anymore. That's as close as I can come. I can't whistle. <laughs> and I, I was a big whistler. I was a big whistler. <laughs> but I can't do it no more. Can't do it now. I, I, <laughs> I miss that. I used to when I was when I was 11 years old. I'd go over to my cousin's house when I was staying with my grandma and Pearson. And uh, when it'd be time for me to go back across the field to grandma's, there was a big old field uh, field of uh, it was either cotton or soybean that my uncle had planted out there, and it was it was about fourth of a mile across that field and usually when I was going home it was dark and I'd be walking across that field you know it's dark there's no street lights you know it's out in the country and I'd start whistling <laughs> like if there was something out there that's going to get me that whistling would stop <laughs> I'd whistle whoosh yeah. And then when I'd get close enough to the house that I could actually see it, I'd take off in a dead run. <laughs> get to that house, slam that door open, into the house, had to turn on the, well, the oil lamps was at my cousin's house there. My grandmama had electric lights, but my cousin, he didn't. They had oil lamps. No electricity at all. <laughs> that was my favorite cousin. He's still alive. He, he's older than me. He was, I guess he's about 82. But he was my hero. Frankie. Frankie Pearson, my, my hero. I thought the sun rose and set on that boy. Sure did. All right, folks, that's got to be my video. I'm sorry it ain't got much to offer today, but I'm stuck here. I got more coming up tomorrow. I'm, I'm still working on my, my autobiography. Is that what they call it? 
But anyway, that's some someone one of my subscribers said that's what it is and I was talking about talking about my life and doing it and doing it in so many uh, videos. Probably take about fifteen or twenty videos because I got a lot that went on at various stages in my life that I'm not gonna be able to do like in a 30 minute video or something like that. Cause I, you know, I got, I'm starting from where I can remember the first time I can remember. And that was 1944. But then from 44 to 51, uh, that's, a lot happened sort of at the tail end of that. You know, when my mama left my dad and, and abandoned me and two of my, one of my other brothers and my sister and then the other took the other two boys with her cause they was pretty much babies. And then there's that period from when she dropped us off that night at grandma's house and took off to uh, to the time let's see 50 that's gonna be 51 to about 1954 then the next is gonna be between 55 and March 18th 1959 then there's gonna be that part right there that I was in the army those few years I was in the army then there's going to be a part after that about covers about three or four years I think I might be able to do it in ten videos up to present I don't know lots going on in my life you know and a lot of stuff I wish I'd have had when I was a kid. Mainly, I wished I'd have had a family life, you know, a good, solid family life. Uh, one of my subscribers told me, said, I seem lonely. Uh, well, I don't know if I'm lonely. Or, you know, I... <sighs> Right now, I'm lonely to be able to go up to Publix and talk to people. I mean, I've got my daughter here, my three grandsons, and we talk, you know, we have a, we, we have this family type relations, you know, and, and but, I kind of think my family is dysfunctional. And I'll get into that when I get to the video about this part of my life. Uh, you know, it just puts me thinking. I'm sure glad it ain't hot like it is up around Illinois. And them guys. They were roasting up there. Well, oh, look at my hat. It came. Crazy family tube. My adopted grandkids. And there's five of them. Yeah, there's five of them. And uh, found out Elena, she's the youngest girl. She's going to be in, she's going into her senior year at high school. And she's wanting to be a, an EMT, you know, and that's, you know, EMT, that's emergency medical technician. They're the ones that goes out in these ambulances and stuff. and takes care of people and my hat's off to her if she can stand that I, it, I guess it's a good job 
But if I was her, I'd do that job, but in the process, as I was doing that job, I'd be going to school to be a nurse. Now, there's a short, there, 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 there's a short supply of uh, nurses. Uh, and buddy, I love my nurses. Most of them. I've had a couple I didn't particularly like. But I respected them. Uh, but I love my nurses, and I got several on my, my on my uh, uh, Facebook page that I'm still friends with, and I got several texts that's on my Facebook page. You know the ones that was taking care of me when I was in the hospital those times, and 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 uh, giving me baths, which was. Totally embarrassing. Totally. <sighs> I, mean, I don't know how they stand to do that. But they do. The text. The text are the ones that gives you the bad. And boy, this one text, I can't remember her name, but she was Jamaican. And you know them urinals that you got, that you, little plastic thing that you have to pee in? Well, it's kind of shaped straight and then up, and I couldn't figure out if it went that way or the other way. And I kept peeing on the bed. <laughs> I couldn't figure that thing out. And that tech come in, and, do you not know how to use that thing? I said, well, it, it's kind of hard to figure out. And she said, the next time you got to go, don't call me to come get your urine. Just call me, and I'll come show you how to do it. And boy, <laughs> she, she, I had to pee. <laughs> she lifted them clothes up, threw that thing down there, <laughs> and she showed me. <laughs> and this is the <a> lady. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I was so shocked. <laughs> I was embarrassed. <laughs> but I said, "How can you do that?" She said, "It comes with the job." <laughs> <laughs> she was one of my all-time favorite texts. <laughs> I ain't never forgot that. Oh my goodness! Thankfully, I thankfully I didn't have to do number two on the bedpan. I was they would, they would allow me to get up, but all my IVs and stuff had to go with me. Oh, <laughs> I wish I can. I wish I can meet up. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was incredible. Gosh Almighty, I've met some wonderful people. You know that here in the hospital, uh, and gosh, my YouTube. Family, and I got a YouTube family buddy, and I think I think they are sincere when they drop me comments and send me stuff, and I think they're sincere. I think they really like me. Uh, and on the other hand, it scares me to death thinking I might do something to make them not like me. Man, I. That's why I always try to apologize in advance. If I say something that you don't like, I'm sorry, but tell me you don't like it, and I'll understand. Tell me you don't like it, and you don't know why you don't like it. Boy, them some little, golly, Ned, where's them things coming from?
what kind of ant? Them little bitty ant. That's some kind that when they get on you, boy, they bite. Anyhow, folks, I got to go. I got to get this video fixed. And I think I'm going to have a baked tater for... for I ain't figured out if, if you're supposed to say supper, dinner, or just got to have a snack. I, it's always supper to me in the evening. Dinner to me was when you went out to eat. The middle of the day is lunch, and of course the beginning of the morning is breakfast. And I never had have understood that brunch. Never understood that. Brunch. I guess that's short for lunch, for short lunch. All right. GoPro, I want you to listen to me. And don't give me no stuff. GoPro, turn off. You son of a gun. Why is it doing that? Maybe I ain't close enough. GoPro, turn off. Oh, wait a minute. Dad, gonna. It's not listening to me because I ain't telling it right. It's recording. You got to still stop doing that before it'll listen to you when you say turn on. So let's see. GoPro, stop recording. Anyway, I didn't mean to get too long-winded on this video, but I wanted to show you all this because I didn't have any scrapping videos to show you or something. This needs cleaning. But I showed it to you. I shot the breeze a little bit. And that's my story. And I'm sticking to it. Is it? That's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> uh, GoPro turn on. Uh, no. GoPro, stop recording.